Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm gonna do a wear test foundation review. Um, I saw one of those ads on like my Instagram or Facebook or something for this foundation that you got to try for like 14 days and you only had to pay shipping. You didn't have to pay for the foundation. Disclaimer, I'm like very sick right now, but I like I like feel okay, but I'm just like, I sound way worse than I feel, I think. So I apologize, but I really, really have been dying to try this foundation out and like see if it's actually good because I totally got suckered into whatever that like ad was or like the sponsored whatever. So I totally got suckered in and I guess we'll see. And I don't even know how many days are left in my like, 14 day trial, I guess. So I may end up paying for the foundation anyway, regardless of whether I like it or not. But I don't know, we'll find out. So it's by the brand or the company Il Makeage. I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying it right. This is the box that came in. Um, well, it like didn't come in this. It was in like a shipping box. But then there's this black box and you open it up. And it like has this whole little thing and there's like confetti stuff in here. Like they made it very special. Um, there is a little box here, or a little, um, not box, but there's a little like booklet, I guess. Um, and it says try before you buy. So I don't know if you can do it with like all of their stuff on their website. I'm not sure. Um, but I mean, we're gonna figure it out, I guess. Um, so it says, our formula, 50 shades for all skin tones, natural matte finish, buildable, medium to high coverage, second skin feel, 100% cruelty free, vitamin E and hyaluronic acid for hydration and anti-aging. Um, and then it gives you some tips, and it says, pro tips, to last longer, prep skin with a primer and finish with a setting spray. Be sure to moisturize before applying foundation, especially if your skin is dry. If it's oily, set the foundation by dusting powder across your T-zone. This formula plays nice with a well-rounded, full-bodied brush, like our number 100 foundation blending brush. A sponge works well if you're looking for lighter coverage. So I like that they kind of tell you exactly what tool to use because I know so many times like people try out foundations on camera and they're like okay I'm gonna do half with a beauty blender half with um, a brush god and so I like that they tell you if you want lighter coverage use it with a beauty blender if you want more full coverage use a brush now I didn't order their specific brush I'm just gonna use my normal brush which this is it, it's a Morphe R6, um, and I use it on all my other foundations, so, I mean, if I can't use it with my normal brushes, I don't really want it anyway, kind of a thing. So I don't want to have to have, like, a brush for each foundation, you know what I mean? Like, I know some things work better with others, but, like, all in all, I like to use my regular brush. That's just who I am. So then, the foundation itself comes in this box here. And you pull it out and it looks backwards and it's like on this little velvet thing and there's like an indentation in the box that this just like choo, it sets in so that's that it's like really beautiful like the frosted glass and then the um, cap is like all it's kind of like iridescent like tealish black in a way. I don't know. It's really, really pretty. I don't know if it's going to pick it up on camera. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. Um, the cap is really pretty. So I got shade. I'm pretty sure the website like shade matched me based on like a series of questions. So I'm in shade 060 and it's called woke up like this. It's made in Italy. This is one fluid ounce. Um, so I don't know. I guess we're just going to try it. I'm going to use my normal setting spray I'm gonna use my normal primer um, and my normal sponge and I guess we'll just see what happens so I am working tonight right now it is ch -ch 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 -ch. 
It's 2.54 now. I work at 5 o'clock. And I will probably be at work until at least, at least 11. Um, probably more like 12. So I will do a recap when I get back from work um, to see how it does. Like, all throughout the night, I guess. Like 8 or 9 hours, probably. Um... So, I guess, let's just get on into it and see what happens. So, lately I've been doing a combination of the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Primer Water and the Too Faced 3-in-1. Um, I've been using both. Don't ask me why. I just, like, can't make a decision, and I'm like, I'm going to use both. And it's been really good, actually. So... I'm 100% tying my hair back. Um, so when you open it up, I don't even know what kind of like applicator it has. I really haven't done anything except for open the box. Okay, so I guess you don't have to twist like I just was. You can just pull the cap off. <laughs> and it's a little pumper. Okay. All right, I did like two and a half pumps. That's typically what I do for the most part once so depending on the foundation probably like two to three pumps usually um, so we'll see how that works out it smells just kind of like regular foundation smells so that's good this looks well it looks like it's a little tan for me but honestly it actually probably matches me because I have self tanned a little bit lately Alright, so I don't personally think the two and a half pumps was enough. I'm gonna get that double chin. Alright, that's better. Um because I still feel like I don't have enough right here or on my nose. Like I don't I think I just had to drag around. So I'm gonna do one more pump and kind of go in the areas that I think I need a little bit more okay so this is what it looks like I actually like it I mean it's been on my face for all of five minutes and I haven't tried it with like my concealers or anything but oops wrong way I definitely appreciate it I mean I don't know if you guys can really see the coverage here but I enjoy it I think it looks really really good um, it is definitely matte and I have um, dry skin so we're gonna have to see how it goes that's why I feel like a lot of the foundations I've been using lately have been so matte and my skin has just been so dry lately so so um we'll see I mean it feels good it does not like I can barely even tell that I have foundation on and I applied like I built it up a little bit so I have like two layers on which is cool because I don't like feeling cakey. I don't like makeup that makes me feel cakey. I don't wear it. I just throw it away. So this is really nice so far. So I'm going to um, hop off camera and I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I'll let you guys know kind of how it mixes out with my concealer and the rest of my face and I will be back in just a minute. Okay. All right. All right, you guys. So I'm like almost done with my makeup. I just got to put some mascara and um, highlight on but I guys I really was liking this foundation like I said I it was really lightweight 
like it said, felt like a second face or whatever it says, which I guess is kind of creepy. A second, what did it say? Second skin feel. And it's true, it did. But, okay, so I haven't even had it on, I don't know. It's 318, so I literally haven't even had it on for half an hour. And it's already breaking up on my nose. I'm gonna try and show you guys. Do you see right there in the middle, like, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it on camera and I'm gonna be really bummed if not. Okay. Like right there on my nose, do you see like, I don't know, it's like making my pores come out of my skin. Like, oh my God, it's so terrible. And all on like my upper um, lip, like here and then like on the edges, it's already broken up. Like, it looks so patchy. And then here, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but it like came off. I haven't even gone anywhere yet. And it came off, so I went to go like blend it back together, and it took even more of it off. It just didn't, it didn't want to connect to each other because I've like already set my face and stuff. So, I don't know if it's because I have dry skin or if it's just the foundation. I don't know. But I do know that I cannot do a wear test on this because I can't go to work looking like this. Like, my nose all broken up like this. Uh -uh. And like all this patchiness here and here. I'm really hoping that the camera's like picking up on it and I'm not sounding like a crazy person because I'm like really concerned. And if I try to blend it back together, it just takes product back off. And I try putting more product on and it like doesn't stay there and I've never had that happen with foundation before. I wear foundation all the time and that's never happened before. So. I'm not even, I mean, what am I going to do? Add highlight and mascara and it's going to magically make the foundation work? No. So, I don't think, I got to see if I can return this because I will probably never wear this. Considering, like I wish it worked because it felt so good at first. And I did nothing different, like I used my same primers, my same concealer, my same setting powder blood, all, everything is the same. So I'm going to say that this little guy is no bueno from me. Maybe it works on others with oily skin. I don't know. Yeah, no. From me, this little Il Maquillage foundation, I'm going to have to pass on which is so sad. I was so excited. And it very well could just be like some weird ass gimmicky thing too. I don't know, I don't know anything about it. Where is the box? Is there like an ingredients list? Okay, yeah, it does have an ingredients list. I was like, wait a minute, maybe I'm really being punked here. Um, ugh, I'm so sad. Minimizes the appearance of shadows and pores. Well, I feel like all it did was make my pores look disgusting on my nose, so maybe it's me. I don't know, but that's where I'm at on it. I'm going to try to send it back. Um, I guess that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked my misfortunes. Now I'm going to redo my face because I don't, I got to get ready for work. Yeah, I gotta get ready for work. So, um, I'm really sad I did not like the foundation. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know. I don't think I've ever recorded a video where I haven't, like, liked the product. Like, disliked it this much. So I'm really upset. I'm really sad. I'm kind of, I don't know. 
I feel a little lost. So I guess that's it for this video. I'm gonna stop rambling and go redo my face so I can get my butt to work and eat something before I go to work. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more product reviews, um, let me know down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up before you go and subscribe if you are not already subscribed and turn on your little notification bell so you can hang out with me the next time I do a fantastic video. Alright? Alright. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye!